Hey there, it's Tara with One Dollar Decorator. Today we're going to paint a frame, but we are going to have some fun. We're not just going to paint the frame, we are going to blend two colors using a very simple technique. Let's go! So we're going to be crafting with this unfinished wooden frame. I got it at a garage sale for a dollar each. There were actually a bunch of them there, so I grabbed all of them, each for a dollar. Now you can buy these at Hobby Lobby. The price tag on the back says $4.99. Today we're going to be painting this frame, and then we'll add the metal love, the word love, that I had left over from a craft that I did about a week ago. It was a heart that I'd gotten at the Dollar Tree with this metal love on it. So, okay, you guys, this is, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need your help. First of all, I want to paint. I want to paint this red and white, but let's do something fun with the paint. I haven't done this in a while. Let's blend the paint. I want to start with white on top and red on the bottom and I want it to be like an ombre. I've only done this one time um, and it worked but hey let's give it a shot. If it doesn't work I'll just paint red all over it. What do you say? Uh, thank you Carol. Thank you uh, Miss Singh. I know Christina but I'll be back before you know it girl. So I've got my red and my white um, from um, this is chalk paint this is Waverly this comes from both of these are Waverly chalk paint and they come from Walmart so I use a lot of that okay and I'm gonna get started painting all right so the first thing I'm gonna do is I am just going to put a base coat of white on you guys all right Thank all right so now I took um, I took this out by the way because I want to make sure to get this lip in here and I don't want to get paint on um, the plexiglass where the heck did it go oh lordy oh here it is or the backing so all right let's just get to it so I'm just gonna paint this white and the great thing with this um, this chalk paint I just love this chalk paint this way really chalk paint you guys um, it, it covers, it covers so nicely. Okay, so what you need really is you need to, to do this blending is you need three paint brushes, okay? And you need a spray bottle like a mister because you need a, a, a a paintbrush for your white for both colors and then you need a blending brush and I dry this off so now I'm going to get my my white paint and I am going to make my mark right and I'm going to do another coat of white and then I'm going to do a coat of red messy and then see so I have my two other brushes and then we're going to get this spray bottle and you just spray it down and you just blend it okay so I'm going to put oh, oh I don't have a boogie a, a little bit of white here okay and I'm going to put a little bit of red here I don't know if I'm going to need this but I'm going to need to be able to, with my blending brush, I might. And I don't want to get a messy mood. Whoop. Ooh, that was a big old glob of goo there. All right. All right, so I'm going to put my second coat on the top to about, I don't know, I'm going to go down a little bit further with my white because I want my red. I'm sorry, you can't see. I'm going to go a little bit down further with the white because I want my red to start coming up.
Yes, I did. Okay, so this is what we've got. All right, now I am going to uh, take, sorry, I'm going the wrong way. I'm going to take my little spray bottle and we're just going to moisten this up a little bit, okay? And we're going to take, um, take the red and start blending. Okay. Can you see it? Start blending. Just start blending. All right. Now I'm going to get some of the white here and go down. I take the red and take it up and then the white and take it down. I'm going to show you. So now I've got the white and I'm um, just kind of and we're just going to continue this. Mom? Yes, honey. Mom, I need to tell you a secret. Okay, what's your secret? You want me to tell them and Mom will edit how you do? Yeah. I don't think Mom is on here right now. But, okay, so now um, I'm going to keep, I'm going to wet it down again. He wanted me to tell you guys that Mom was agitating him. All right, so I want more white on the, yeah, more white on the top here, and I'm going to just keep, just keep doing it until I get the effect that I want. I know red's probably a tough one to you to do. I'm going to use a little, get my red out, on my white rather, and put it on the top here. So I can blend it down and just keep keep blending you guys just keep blending oh I think it's pretty oh yes I like it it's starting to really it, it, it like I said this is just trial and error you just keep doing it until you get the effect that you like Okay, what do you think? What do you think? Do you like it? I need a little bit more white up here. Okay, and, and keep just spray, keeping it a little bit, you gotta keep it wet. That's the whole thing with this mist. You can buy these and on Amazon for, I don't know, they're like four or five dollars. They're not much, ah, see what I did? Crud, crud balladud. And you know what? I used the wrong paintbrush. That's what I did. That's okay. We'll fix it. We'll just paint right over it. Paint right over it. Um, that's what I get for trying to talk and craft and at the same time. All right. It's the minion ball. It's the minion ball. All right. So I about got this part. got it done on that side oh I think it's so pretty you guys I'm so all about this now I gotta I gotta do this other little side here So now we got it. Look how, I'm sorry, I'm going the wrong way. How pretty this is. Look how pretty. Hi, bud. All right, so now I'm going to dry her off. Get my little inside right there. This, uh, please don't let this intimidate you because there was, this was simple. Simple. It's just, just keeping on it. Keeping and just keep going until now you can kind of see where the um, where where I use the mister and I need to brush that out just a smidge and that's no big deal so just just do that 
if the water sits on it, it just makes a little, um, a little dot. Same up the top here. All right. And of course, I have pink in my white, so I've just got to go back over that a couple more times. The very top. All right, so now I'm going to dry it. Um, anyways, what I was saying, so you use your glue gun, but I also mix in, what I do with it? Some E6000. If you're not familiar with E6000, here's an unopened package. It is, um, it, it is a stronger adhesive, but it doesn't dry quickly. You have to give it about 24 hours. What does it say? Um, I think it says give a full... Uh, directions. 24 hours for curing. So here's the good thing about that. If it's not in the exact spot that you want it, you can move it around a little. However, if, um, with the, if you want something to, um, dry quickly, use your hot glue. So, there we go. All right, so now we're just going to place it where we want it. Yeah, like I said, I'm okay with this, with my L hanging over just a little bit in the picture. Um, I'm okay with that, 100%. And the O and the V, um, they are just popping up in there, but the majority of the picture is, um, is free, is open. So, I moved it just a smidgey, so there's a little smudge of, I'm looking for my, here it is. Y'all, I need to take some time and do some house cleaning back here, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Um, even though I just seem to have done it. All right, so I'm just kind of wiping up the excess um, E6000. It is clear. Now, I know, like Barbie, uh, my business partner, my best friend Barbie, she uses that washi tape. She puts it on here to keep it in um, from moving. I don't think I have. I used to have some painter's tape in here. I don't have it. I've used it somewhere else. Uh, so you can get that washi tape and put it on there so it doesn't move and just leave it. But just for fun, I'm going to pick this up and show you what we've created. You guys, tell me that that isn't cute. It is not totally symmetrical. We've got a little bit hanging over on this side, more so than this side, but that is okay. I am okay with it. I think it is adorable because it it's heavier. This portion is heavier, so I don't feel like it's unbalanced at all. I am in love, 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 love this. You guys, it took us no time and let's, now we've got to talk about um, cost. What did this cost me? So, this frame cost me about 50 cents at a garage sale. And the love was a dollar that, um, but it was leftover. It was trash from an, another craft. I popped it off, used the glue gun, popped it right off of there and said, I'm going to save this. So, if, if you want to, if you want to split hairs, I'd say 50 cents for the love. I paid 50 cents for the frame, a buck. Um, and then the, uh, all the paint I already had, the E6000 I already had. So we made this cute frame, you guys. Imagine 
um, you could you could gift this to somebody give it to somebody you have a best friend or somebody that loves Valentine's Day a teacher um, put a picture of you and your significant other in here and wrap it up and give to them him her he she whatever um, we love everybody here at one dollar decorator it doesn't matter to me uh, but how cute is that um, or for a, a kid, you know, I could put a picture of mommy and Kieran in here because Kieran, are you my Valentine? I don't know about that. <laughs> Did you guys hear that? Oh, I love this kid. He's so funny. All right.